Hey everyone, it's Andrew Cartwright here, and happy thankful Thursdays and 311 day to all my music fans out there. Here is your daily stimulus check, your second stimulus check, your third stimulus check, your executive action and executive orders and stimulus package update for Thursday, March 11, 2021. Find out if President Biden will be putting his name on the $1,400 stimulus check like President Trump insisted, why a leading financial guru thinks this new $1.9 trillion disaster relief bill could see the stock market rise 10 to 12% by 2021, what it means to you, and a detailed breakdown. Yes, the details of what was actually voted in. No speculation now. We got the results and all we need is an autograph now on that new stimulus package and when you can expect to start seeing those funds hit your bank account after this. For the best news and information to master, dominate, and elevate your money, your business, your life, stay tuned to this channel where we rip it apart. We are so committed to your personal finance, the what stocks to buy, what to get when it comes to your money. Also, $1,900 we're giving it away as a tradition on this channel. I want to give away money, and the more we grow, the more money we plan to give away. We're giving away $1,900 right now. All you got to do to enter to win that, subscribe, like, and comment. It's that easy. It's free. Subscribe, like, and comment. It's free. You could win $1,900. When we hit 190,000 subscribers, a random comment's going to be picked from the videos, and someone will win. It's so, I mean, there's not that many comments, really, when you think about it. So you're, it's an obvious thing. Also, down below, grab your Weeble stock. You can get two stocks for free, valued up to $1,600 when you deposit $100. There's no catch or gimmick. It is awesome. Thousands and thousands of people have done it, but it is a limited time offer. So don't miss out and go, I could have got $1,600, but I didn't because I didn't, I didn't listen to Andrew. <laughs> Also, thanks to all my Patreons out there. You get five articles a week, copy my book, and a look at my portfolio. They see all and private content only for them. But first, remember all the way back to 2020 when President Biden put his name, I mean, <laughs> Biden, Trump put his name on the $1,200 stimulus check disbursement dispersed to millions of Americans, and Pelosi lost her mind. She did. She went crazy. It was like, what happened to her? You're from California. Chill, right? Yes, she went absolutely nuts. Why? Well, I'm going to get into it. President Biden has made it clear that he will not be following that path, opting to push stimulus checks out as soon as possible instead of taking the time to print his signature on every direct payment. You know, it's already on auto sign with our current Treasury Secretary. So you have to change that in order to get the checks out. And, of course, Trump wanted to... Obviously, I mean, at the time, it was a monumental moment, and we were all in the ether, and he said, I want to I be behind this. Hey, whatever, he was president at the time. Now we got Biden, different, different roadmap, like get you the money quicker is his roadmap. I kind of like it. Uh, the White House Press Secretary, Jen Penske, explained, quote, we are, go we are doing everything in our power to expedite the payments and not delay them, which is why the president's name will not appear on the memo line of this rounds of stimulus checks. I wish it wouldn't take time. It would be cool to have his name on there. I'd frame it, right? I'd frame a Biden check and a Trump check. I mean, it's history in the making. She continued, quote, this is not about him. This is about the American people getting relief. Signature or not, the only signing that I want to see from President Biden is his, his John Hancock on the new $1.9 trillion stimulus bill, putting the new disaster relief bill package into action. Can you imagine we pick John Hancock as the guy that we say is a signature? There were lots of signatures on that Declaration of Independence, but <laughs> why did we pick him? I don't know because maybe it had hand in there? I'm not sure. Meanwhile, financial professor at Warden School and economic expert Jeremy Siegel, he made some very encouraging comments recently about how the recent approval of that $1.9 trillion stimulus package could boost the stock market and economy as much as 12% by year's end. It's not far away, right? 
Yeah, you can make 10%. This is not financial advice. If you listen to me, you will lose all your money. I have to say that. The attorneys tell me to say that. So, but you know, you do what you want. Siegel explained, quote, when I see the amount of stimulus coming, I can see another 10% rise in the stock market prices, 10 to 12% this year then the feds get more worried and are leveling off that 2022 and 2023 that we're talking about. He continued, quote, we're going to get those little fears that are coming through, but it's going to be overwhelming, I think, by the strength of the economy and the rise of corporate earnings. This is one of the things I talk about. Money is an idea backed in confidence, but it's energy to get things done. We are putting like energy, fuel, into the economy and we're giving it to people who actually consume and actually spend. You ever notice how Bezos, Elon Musk, Bill Gates, all their wealth rises? That money gets captured in those big wealth traps. When you give it to just everyday people like us, what do we do? We go spend it, and 70% of the economy is based on us. When you think about Apple doesn't pay taxes, Wells Fargo doesn't pay taxes, we pay taxes. So what do you do? You put it into the economy, it's fuel, and then it goes through, people buy stuff and they pay taxes. Huh, voila! That's how you know it, it was designed to work, it's just gotten a little creepy. With so much stimulus coming our way in the coming weeks, it looks like we could be seeing a full recovery uh, of the economy and personal finance for millions of Americans sooner than the initial predicted. The thing is, if we just take this money and believe and are confident in America, then we can actually, this thing is gonna be the best thing, well, you can't say the best thing ever happened. I mean, uh, rest, God rest, and get the, you know, all the people that pass, but gotta, yeah. But, this could be incredible going forward. Finally, the House of Representatives approved President Biden's $1.9 trillion package yesterday, setting the stage for the president to sign into law tomorrow. I offered my help uh, yesterday. I was going to walk it from the, I'd fly there and walk it from the Capitol to Washington so he'd have an expedited, you know, get it done kind of thing because everybody else appears to be busy, right? I mean, we just need an autograph at this point. But this is a historical disaster relief bill, right? So, of course, you got to have a speech, a ceremony. I mean, we are, we're, we have traditions in America. Yeah, one of those is making this, which is a big deal, a big moment in American history. So it'd be March 12th. Why that date? I'm, I'm sure the, the band 311 would have loved 311 to be their thing because they can take credit for the stimulus, right? First and foremost, $960 billion will be going towards financial aid to individuals, including $1,400 stimulus checks, extended enhanced unemployment benefits, refundable tax credits for children, uh, child care, and health nutrition assistance. So that $3,000 and $3,600, which is awesome, you get plus you're getting the the tax relief on your unemployment you're getting that extra 10 so you're getting like an extra 30 bucks kind of like 330 sort of <laughs> rough math and 510 billion to earmark the state and local governments providing necessary targeted resources for specific areas across the united states that are some of them are just broke bankrupt that without this money they'd be out the final 305 billion will be going to businesses healthcare and small fiscal programs. So there'll be little stuff popping over around the country. Stay tuned to this channel, we'll tell you about them. The White House and Congress made it very clear that they wanna provide ample financial assistance to millions of Americans, ASAP, protect our airlines with $14 billion to make sure that we keep our America safe and your ability to travel intact. And you can expect these funds to hit your bank accounts before the end of March. I'm not kidding. Don't hold me to it because I don't write the checks. I certainly don't sign them. But they're saying end of March with President Biden set to, to sign this disaster relief bill into law tomorrow. Stay glued to the channel for the latest updates on the things to look for in that stimulus as well as other financial information to keep you on top of your money game. Remember, this is not the end. This is the beginning. All kinds of programs are going to be filtering through the system till 2028. Let me say that again. 2028 is how far the legs on this go and there's lots of different programs that can be out there so if you 
If you tune out to this channel, you won't know about the latest and greatest that's happening in your personal life, your business, and your money, because that's where we keep it real here. So that's your stimulus check, second stimulus check, third stimulus check, executive action and stimulus package update for Thursday, March 11th, 11, 11, 2021. Thank you for watching so much. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know why I said that. It's kind of crazy. Sounds like an Italian mob movie. Please leave a comment with your favorite type of sandwich. I'd love to know. And bowl if you don't eat carbs. My favorite sandwich, believe it or not, I love the barbecue beef, but I also love the, you know, the meatball sandwich because it's hot, right? I like a hot sandwich. It's kind of the thing. So I'd love to know your sandwich. Those are my favorites because the melted cheese over the meatballs with the sauce and it just, man, makes me hungry. I'm Andrew Cartwright. Please stay safe out there. Take care. I love you. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, please subscribe or like the video if you haven't done it already. Really appreciate it. Do a lot of work to get this to you. So please do that if you don't mind.